here in Edison Mobile States to show you the progress at H10. This is a one bedroom, one bath home. It arrived this week. So as you know, I like to do sneak peek videos. And um, there's our website, My Home in Edison. So you can go to that if you're interested in purchasing this house, qualifying for it. It's H10, you see the number there? Gotta go up my fancy dancy steps because there's, steps are still going to be built. Uh, we do custom steps, as many of you know, from our ongoing video productions for Edison Mobile Estates. So here we have, oh my gosh, it's so quiet when you close the doors. And the reason is, this is an Energy Star certified home. So what we're looking at right as you walk in is um, a co-closet, a guest closet right next to the door, very convenient. And this is moisture resistant paper inside the closet. This house has vinyl flooring throughout. You see all the items on the ground there that travel with the house and have to still be installed. Uh, what I see there is the paint bucket to do touch-ups and the furnace cover and some light fixtures for the outside and for the bathroom, the globes for the bathroom. So take a look at this front end kitchen. Everybody loves this. So <laughs> it's a really sunny house. I'll go around and open up some of the windows in a little bit. Um, this is an all wood cabinetry. It's canoe birch. And during COVID we've had to, we've had to take these beautiful stainless steel appliances which is a total thrill. So the electricity's not on yet. I'm just doing a quick video, like I said, because the house just arrived a couple days ago. And um, this is two sides to this kitchen, really, when we do a front end. This is a great design for this uh, width. This is a 16 foot. And this is very similar to the house we built at X2. I believe X2 is a, I'm sorry, X5. X5 was a little bit longer, but this house, wait till you see the rest of it. So um, here you see the four Whirlpool appliances. Uh, well, actually I shouldn't call the farm sink a Whirlpool appliance, um, but the stainless steel refrigerator behind me is part of the four appliances that come with, um, it's kind of a standard with the Redmond homes. So you've got your dishwasher, your stainless steel, um, stove oven. I did not take off the blue paper on the bottom that protects the kick plate. And then you've got your Whirlpool microwave. And again, these are all wood cabinets. Let's take a look. We've got the European pools and these are adjustable. There's the adjustment. And now look at the farm sink. Every so often the manufacturer sends something different. I really, really like this um, more brown, red-toned uh, cutting board. And again, they have the colander with these little wooden slots, very nice. And an, again, the little grid and underneath is, um, oh, I'll have to move this so you can see it, is the protection for the stainless steel um, bottom of the farm sink. So there you have the rest of it. And then you've got the sprayer, it's on a gooseneck faucet um, handle. It's got that industrial look that's really popular. People really love that. And it's got the, again, I don't know what the word is, but the kick plate in the front is the stainless steel. So that'll match all the other appliances. Um, these uh, windows are thermal pane windows and they have the non-string lift up um, blinds, which are really handy, and the little valances that come, uh, again, with the house. So um, let's take a look at how sunny, I mean, it's just a mild day today, but it's going to bring in a lot of sunlight when you come in here. So you just lift it up, and then you see the rest of the neighborhood. I'm not able to do it with just one hand, but it's a lovely way to raise up the... Um, because this is such a wide window, it just kind of curls up the strings up above. So let's see if we can make them balanced and make it look pretty. There we go, what do you think of that? That's really lovely. So now you've got casted into the house this lovely light. 
And again, I'll go over and do those windows too and you'll see what that's like. So the living room has the paddle fan in the ceiling. And um, let's turn around, but don't make you dizzy. And you'll see that it's got LED lights in the ceiling and then uh, more on this side. And that's a really wonderful feature to keep your um, energy costs down. So again, we're in the living room. It's, my word, it's huge. So this is really pretty. And um, this is kind of like our signature flooring. We found so much success with it and uh, we've eliminated most of the carpeting that typically comes with the houses. And um, so there's certain things that the manufacturer makes that are standard. And then there's upgrades that Mr. Dolan does that I've been telling everybody is the Dolan home standard. So here this window is now open. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. I was trying to do it off camera just to talk to you about the living room while we lifted this up. So there you go. Lift up a little higher. And then again, you step back and you realize this house has so much light. Oh my gosh, it's so appealing. Um, it's rare when we can do a 16 foot wide house. So um, I know this will sell quickly. And I've had a lot of people interested. So um, I believe the procedure's on our website, myhomeinedison.com. So now we're gonna look at this combination, laundry room and bathroom. Again, it's got a door here. It's the beautiful two panel doors and you can close the door and not even hear the washer and dryer. So here you've got the cabinetry above and there's a pole there to um, hang clothing. This would be a location for your washer and dryer. The manufacturer unfortunately does not provide that. And again, this is the water resistant paper. I'm gonna open the door just to give me more light in the bathroom. Uh, as I said, the electricity's not on yet. And then if we look on this side, you've got an enormous bank of uh, cabinets uh, for linens, I suppose, or whatever else you wanna put in there. So that's a really lovely feature right in the bathroom. Um, and then over here, we still have to put in the glass door. Again, we do an upgrade to the one that the manufacturer offers and we do a heavy grade um, shower door and it's a bypass shower door. So that's coming up. So once the house arrives, we have like 80% of the work to still be done. Over here, you've got your commode, your vanity and the mirrored, um, I mean framed mirror. And I, I guess I could have put the globes up, but the light bulb's there, but there's no light uh, here yet. And this is the uh, Bronzino countertop that also matches what's in the um, kitchen. And that is a porcelain drop-in sink uh, in the Formica countertop. And this is called Canoe Birch, this little uh, color of the cabinetry. It's very, very pretty. Very elegant, very modern. It's a, a great uh, look. So again, here's your last, oh, and the window. It's got a little tiny window, give you some light. Um, because the manufacturer follows the HUD code, there's uh, codes for how to uh, add a window for ventilation, and um, sometimes they do little stub walls. You'll see a little wall that goes out from the kitchen there. So that's done for support, and um, other times it's done because the code requires it. So this house is gonna be central air conditioning. This is your furnace. And again, you saw all the parts that were on the ground in the living room. And uh, so we need to cover this with uh, that and add the filter. And there's a warranty book. So all the appliances have one year warranty. And we also have a warranty that is offered through the manufacturer for one year one. And I believe they also do a 30 day cosmetic um, warranty. And then also we have acquired for all of our uh, new homes, the year two through year seven. It's such a great hit that we decided to add it. So here we are again with a really wide window. I don't know if it's 46 or 36. Um, and again, I did my best with one hand and there you go. These are tilt out windows. And this house is a drywall package. All the main parts of the house are drywall. So there's a couple things that we still have to fix when the house arrives. Trim and 
a couple of things. So here's the closet. So you've got the closet this way. Okay, and here is the hot water heater. Wow, that's a big one. And again, it's got the um, warranty appliance books there. So everything gets fixed and taken care of before we sell. Um, sometimes we're showing the houses because there's been such a mad rush for housing during COVID. We have actually been showing the houses as soon as the steps are built, which is not our way. We like to have everything look really uh, pretty, uh, spectacular, well done, pick your adjective. Um, that's our typical way of doing it. But in a mad rush to help people who are eager to move right away, we've been um, kind of acquiescing some of our regular standards. So the way to start is go to the website, myhomeinedison.com, and you'll see the contact form there. You fill out the 15 pre-qualifying questions, and then um, you'll be getting uh, four emails, uh, if necessary, I should say. Let's put this back while we're talking. Uh, the first will be the informational email. We were using Constant Contact, which lets people know on a monthly basis what new houses are available. And then you'll receive a confirmation of your answers to the 15 pre-qualifying questions and any more questions that we need to ask to clarify your answers. And then after that, uh, you will um, receive financing information if you need it. and. Finally, you'll be receiving the COVID-19 mail-in instructions to drop off your applications uh, by mail. I shouldn't say drop in because it sounds like you're gonna show up, but our offices are closed to the public and we have all inquiries in Edison go to our headquarters in South Jersey. And um, that's all gonna be in the email instructions. So uh, attached to the constant contact email, you'll be getting the lease, the resident application, and the rental criteria. You want to check that over to make sure what the rental policy is. And it's also in front of um, our application. And it's one application per adult. If you're 18 and one day or one minute over uh, 18, you're considered an adult. I've had people with um, children that had thought that they didn't have to apply just because they were the child of the parent buying. But if the child is over 18 by any second, um, they have to apply also. So join us here in Edison Mobile Estates, my home in Edison. We're at 852 US Highway 1 in Edison, New Jersey. And we are really in the heart of uh, Middlesex County and a stone's throw from New York City. I like to say that we're in the shadow of New York City. It's one of the most expensive housing quarters in the nation. So this house is listed for 82,000 and I'll give you more descriptions uh, below. So take a look at that and again, join us on our website. Thanks for visiting again. We really appreciate your help and your support in letting people know about this modern quality, innovative housing option. Manufactured homes are the way to go. It's not your grandma's trailer anymore. <laughs>